San Marcos coming off their loss in the first round of the NCAA West Regional, falling to Anchorage, or sorry, Alaska, Fairbanks, 70 to 63. Um, here today with Coach BJ Foster on his left, Blake Seitz, and on his right, Jason McGain. Coach Foster, you can just take us through your thoughts on today's game. Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, we just got off to a real slow start. I mean, to be honest, it was uh, just the first half. We just seemed really tight and, and, um, and they're really loose. I mean, it, it, it was just just a tale of, of two stories for us. Usually, we uh, we come out pretty fast, and we we are in control and playing from ahead. And, and this time, they did, and we were playing catch up the entire time. And um, you know, they're they're a good team. I mean, they they they're a whole lot better in person than they are on film, a lot quicker. Um, but um, you know, just one or nine. Just uh, you know, we've had. Uh, some tough uh, road trips uh, the last several weeks on the road up to Humboldt, then back on the road back up to Humboldt, playing uh, three games in three days up there. And so um, I think we were we were one into it. I just don't think we just had quite enough to get off to a good start. Understood. Blake, I understand these times are tough, and you look at it this way, you can't really think of the quality in the moment. But let's be honest, I – as Coach Foster, after your very first game up there, yeah, that was your first win ever at the CCA tournament. You guys accomplished a lot during your career on this one. I know it hurts right now, but tell me about just the way you're leaving behind so many firsts that have your name on there. First CCA tournament champion. You know, first time you guys have been the number one seed. Just talk to me about the legacy you leave behind. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's tough to tough for it to end. Um, I'm just thinking about the relationships and everything that I have with my guys. And yeah, those are all good. I and mean, I'm proud of those, but I have brothers for life now. And that's what hurts the most. Completely understood on that one. Coach, as you uh, go forward, just how big is this year as San Marcos looks to establish itself in the world of D2 hoops? Um, sure. Yeah, I mean, and that's what we just told the guys. You know, this is there's not many teams that the first time they're in the national tournament they go and win the whole thing. Um, it just doesn't happen too often. Um, we've set a standard, and um, and the culture is set. We have terrific returners coming back, um, and uh, obviously we're losing this guy and, and several other uh, key players, but. Uh, um, you know, we're, we're, we're really pleased where we are right now as a team, and we just feel like we're going to build on that. And, um, you know, it's, it's just going to be an extension of, of this group. And so even though we're, we're losing four seniors this year that uh, we're, we're extremely important, um, we feel like the culture that they've set is going to keep going for, for quite some time, and, um, and we're very proud of that. Thank you very much. And just to be clear, I know we didn't get a question to it, but we know Jace is a big part of that culture. He'll be a sophomore coming back. And Coach, we do know you guys have built a great program down there. We look forward to seeing you again next year at the regional. So thank you very much, Coach. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Jace. Thank you.